everyone. So you're now in week seven of your online course for Earth and Astronomical Science. So this week, we only got two more weeks, right? Week seven, week eight, so you're so close, so keep working hard. This week we're covering chapter 23, so we're still in the astronomy section. So chapter 23 is going to concentrate on our sun and what I like to call astronomical tools. Okay, so astronomical tools are things like telescopes, different types of telescopes, um, and we a little bit of introduction into light and then heat transfer. So a little bit of physics, but don't be scared. It's the fun physics, I promise, and, and very applicable um, real life type physics. Okay, so this week um, you have your basic things. Okay, make sure you're looking through those reading guides. They really do help. You have your reading guide, your discussion, your homework, and your quiz. Now I have thrown on um, some really cool videos about the, the biggest telescopes and different types of telescopes because when you think about telescopes you probably think about optical telescopes, okay, or maybe the Hubble telescope, which is a space-based telescope, but there's other telescopes that look at other wavelengths of light. So that's where you're going to learn a bit, a bit more about light and find that light is not only the light you see coming into your eyes, but it's actually a full range of wavelengths in what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, we consider all of that to be what we call light. And we have telescopes that, that can detect other wavelengths of light besides just the visual, because actually the visual doesn't tell astronomers very much. Okay, so really astronomers like to look at lots of different wavelengths of light. So you're going to study all that. So check out those videos about the different types of telescopes I have on there. And then in terms of the sun, we're going to learn about the different features of the sun, the different properties of the sun, and then we're going to talk about sunspots. And there's a cool sunspot um, watcher uh, put on there online. You can look at what our sun is doing today in terms of sunspot activity. Okay, and the sunspots actually give us an idea of how active our sun is. Okay, so I think you're going to like this week. Have a lot of fun with it. Um, and please, like always, make sure you contact me if you have any questions. All right, enjoy your studies this week.